In this Infinity Free Web Hosting video, I'm going to show you how to get unlimited free web hosting for a lifetime for your WordPress website. And what if you don't use WordPress? Yes, this lifetime web hosting free service will work for all manner of website builders. So, this video is going to be perfect for you if you want to build a fully functional professional website and maybe you are strict on budget or maybe you're just trying to experiment how to build a website for yourself either on WordPress or any other website builder or content management system. Okay, in case you are not convinced, let's go straight to it. Is your hosting really free? Yes, you can host your website without having to pay ever. And I love that word, ever. Okay, for how long is the free hosting valid? There is no limit, time limit for free hosting. You can sign up whenever you want and use it for as long as you want. Some people have been using their website with us for years without ever paying anything. Okay, for some of us that feel like mm, anything that is free, there must be a reason behind it. So let's check this out. Why do you provide free hosting? Well, because we believe everyone should have the opportunity to build a presence online. Regardless of who you are, where you are, and what your budget is, we believe you should be able to have a website. Will you put ads on my website? Never we heard in not using the ads on our own main site and control panel to cover the cost of free hosting and the rest and the rest and the rest of them. I am sure that if you are looking for a free hosting, this video is going to be an exciting one. You want to type in this infinityfree.com just as you are seeing on your screen. So, this is the platform where we are going to be hosting our websites absolutely for free. So, let me quickly show you how to set up your account on this platform and start hosting your website without paying a dime. So, what you want to do right now, of course, if you don't have an account with these particular platforms, you want to come and click the register button here. And here you want to put in your email address, here your password, you want to confirm your password and there you want to sign up. Alright, so a verification link has been sent to this email address, so I'll quickly check it out. Okay, so here is my confirmation email from Infinity3, so I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on this confirmation link. Alright, so once you click on that link, it's going to bring you up to this point. And the next thing you want to do is that you want to come to this create account and there you want to click on that button. You want to scroll all the way down and this time around you want to pick the free option. So you want to click create now. Okay, so you verify that you are human. And here you can see here we are required to enter the initial domain name for this account. So at this point, I want to believe that you already have your domain name with you that you want to post on this platform. But just in case you don't have one, check the link in the video description. I have pasted a link there that will take you to another platform where you can get your domain name for less than two US dollars. And that is around 2000 Naira if you live in Nigeria. So the link to that platform will be in the video description just below this video. Click on it, get your domain ready. And if you already have your own domain name, then follow me and let's continue our free hosting setup. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'll go back to this particular place. And this is the domain that we just created. So I'm going to copy the whole link and then I'm going to come back here and then I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, so once your business name is here, you want to come here, don't worry, you can just pick any option here. So I'll just go with this and then you're going to click on check availability. All right. So all you need to do is just to scroll all the way down. And here, if I like, I can decide to change my password. Okay, and I'll come to this email consent. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to choose I approve and then I'm going to create an account. All right, so it brings me up to this point and here is actually my username. So I want to copy it out and then I want to save it somewhere. All right, so once it brings me up to this point, the next thing I want to do is to come to this domain and then I'm going to click on add domain. Okay, so which type of domain would you like to add? I want to come to custom domain here because we already have a domain for ourselves. So I'm going to click on add custom domain. 
all right so what i want to do is that i want to come here and then i'm going to just copy this domain that i just that i created a while ago so let's copy that then i'm going to come back in here and then i'm going to remove this and paste this in and then i'm going to click on verify domain all right so once it brings you to this page just follow me what you want to do here is that you want to copy this okay so copy this first one here you're going to copy it and then you're going to come back to this point so you want to click on this drop down arrow and you want to come to manage name server all right and you want to come in here and you want to delete this and then you want to paste what you just copied from the other page so you want to put it here and then you want to come back here again and do the same thing for the second one like we have here so i'm going to copy and then i'm going to come back here and then i'm going to paste sorry and then i'm going to paste it here okay so once i do that i'll just come here and click on change name servers okay so as you can see these changes has been made successfully and you can look at something here that said you can change where your domain points to please be aware that this change may take up to 24 hours okay but don't worry let's come back here okay so once we have done that i'm just going to come in here and then i'm going to click add domain okay so as you can see here they said it's going to take up to 72 hours for this to be possible so what we're going to do right now is just to wait a little bit i'm sure it's not going to be up to this amount of time and then i'm going to save it again and you see that this process will be completed all right so after i waited for i think less than one hour i came back and then when i click the activate button it got activated and it took me up to this point so you can see from here that i am actually in the home page so you want to be sure that you are in the home page and then all you need to do is to come down here to your control panel you're going to click on that okay so it brings me up to my control panel if you are used to the control panel you will know that this is actually a very familiar platform okay so now if i want to design my website on wordpress all i need to do is just to go down and search for my wordpress software which is the softaculous app installer and if i like also i can also uh, type in softaculous installer here to search for the app so but then i've already identified it so let's go back to where it is okay here is it so i'm going to click on that and once i do it's going to bring me up to this point and then from here you can see that we have different types of content management system that you can use to you know design your website here so i want to go for wordpress so i'm just going to come in here and then i'm going to click install okay so all i need to do here is just to go over the usual wordpress installation process so i'll come here and this is the domain name that i want to build my wordpress on okay i want to be sure that i'm actually using the oh, sorry i'm actually using the updated version of wordpress and then all i need to do is just to come right here okay i can put in my admin name here okay and here i'm going to just set up my password all right and then what else you can see here if you are used to installing wordpress this is very straightforward and then all i need to do is just to come in here and click install and then let's wait for this installation process to be completed and as you can see it has been installed successfully so if i click on this particular link is going to take me to my wp admin you know, dashboard okay and then from here i can go ahead and start designing my wordpress website it is as easy as that so this is how to go about hosting your wordpress website or any website at all on a free hosting platform without paying a dime for it and i'm sure you really got value from this video if that is the case, please like this video and help me share it to more persons that will need this kind of information. Also, if you are unsubscribed to this, to this channel and you are here for the first time and you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more digital marketing videos like this one from me, why not subscribe to this channel, turn on the alert bell so that YouTube can notify you when next I publish new videos. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.